guys this is Josh uh, today I'm just going to be doing a quick review uh, video review of the copper Maverick ET 733 uh, it's a wireless barbecue and meat thermometer uh, as you can see in the background I've got my smoker rolling there uh, got one of my favorite beverages here and getting ready to use this I've used it two or three times already but figured you guys might want to see how it works uh, go over what it comes with here you've got both a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter has two different uh, spots to plug in both of your probes, one on either side. Uh, it's going to give you two different readings here which you're going to alternate back and forth if you have both of them plugged in. If you have just one plugged in you'll just see the one. Now let's look at the receiver here. The receiver you can see here that it has two different settings, a one and a two. Uh, that's going to be based on your probe numbers. Your probe numbers are written on the back of the receiver or excuse me the transmitter on either side so you'll know which one is which. Let's take a look at my settings that I have currently right here. Uh, so I know it's kind of hard to see but we'll just go on uh, number one I have a chicken setting for 170 degrees on the bottom I've got my uh, high and low temperature set at 165 as low 175 as high. Um, now that's just when I'm going to pull my butt off and then wrap it in aluminum but you can change these settings. Uh, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and press and hold settings. It's going to beep. You can see that number one is flashing. If I want to go to number two, I just press the low key or press it again and go to number one. All right, so let's say that uh, I want to go to number one. I'm going to go ahead and press setting again. And I can choose between food or barbecue. And I'm going to click set. All right. Now you can see there that it uh, defaults to chicken, but you've also got turkey, deer, elk, moose, buffalo, no buffalo around here, rabbit, boar, duck, bird, fish, beef, veal, lamb, pork. So you can see that there's a whole conglomeration. Now you can also, on many of these, if they'll let you, select the taste difference. Right now it says, uh, well done. Now let's select uh, something we can choose the doneness of. Let's go with moose. Now if you push taste, you can see right now it's well done, but you can also go to medium rare. So depending on the meat that you choose, you'll be able to select the doneness of it. Uh, you can also select the alarm button down here to alert you. Uh, I'll go ahead and get that off there. There we go. So if you select the alarm button, you'll see it pop up here. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to go off whenever your probes reach whatever temperature you have set in there. So I could be inside with this portion, have the transmitter outside, and be just fine. Now it also comes with uh, two grill clips here. Um, basically how that's going to work is just go ahead and pinch it, insert a probe through it, and if you have grates on your grill, say like this table does, you put one end in there, the other end in there. Uh, now the only thing about this is that you would have to do your meat uh, at this angle. What I'm probably going to end up doing here on this one that I have in the smoker, like I did last time, is just adjust the depth where I want it to go in my meat and just stick it straight down in the meat and leave it there. Basically this just acts as a stabilizer and keeps it in place for me. Now I've got both the probes in here, so I just want to show you up in the top left here, it cycles between 1 and 2. Basically it's just reading the outdoor temperature of 86 degrees right now. Um, on the back, you've got a little strap here. Now this is just going to prop it up like that. But if you wanted to, you could rotate this around and then just hang it on the side of your grill like that. So um, I'll probably just be having it propped up like that since I have a flat surface on my grill to set it on. Now the probe wires on here are about three feet long, which is really ideal. It's not too long, not too short. Uh, I found that it works just fine for my smoker that I have. Um, and the nice thing about these wires is that they're very heat resistant. Uh, they're rated for, I believe, 700 and some odd degrees Fahrenheit, which obviously is not ever going to come close to getting that since I cook around 225 to 275 on any given day. So they're not going to see that high temperature. But should it touch the firebox, it's good to know that it is rated that high. Um, you will get temperature readings on here accurately. I believe it said from 32 degrees Fahrenheit, so you can tell how cold it is all the way up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a huge temperature range, a lot more than the other two uh, digital thermometers that I had. All right, so here's my smoker. 
Uh, there's my pork butt that I've had on for about an hour or so. Ooh, excuse me, I'm getting smoked out over here. Basically, I'm just going to show you how I insert it here. You can see that I've got one probe in right now. I'm actually going to put another piece of meat on here as it gets uh, closer to done time for my butt. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set my transmitter down right here. And take the other end. And basically, I'm just going to stick it in the uh, thickest part of my butt over here. And you want to make sure that you're not touching any bone. So, just find a good spot. And actually adjust that down just a little bit so I can get to the middle of it. There we go. Basically, I'm going to put that in about right there. So now, we should see a little difference in temperature. Yep, there we go, 90, 97 degrees, so it's 97 degrees, got quite a ways to go. far I've been really impressed with the Maverick 733 copper. Um, what I really like about it is that it's wireless so I can go in my house and not have to worry about checking my meat constantly. It also allows me to keep the lid on my smoker shut, uh, allowing the meat to cook a little bit faster and allowing for a uh, better product in the end. So. Overall, I'm happy with it. I've only used it a few times, but I'll be using it much more over the summer. Uh, so stay tuned with any future updates to this review. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.